Okay, the Nine of Cups. So this is wish fulfillment here. Okay. So this is like talking about uh, your manifestation. And here's the Three of Coins again. So uh, there's that's like collaboration energy, working well with others. Oh, here's a deer. Okay. So it's like knowing when to move fast and knowing when to graze, knowing when to right go out in the garden, when knowing when to play music. Okay. And I feel like this represents that moon, uh, the Cancer moon, the limps and stuff like that. That's what I'm getting like. Now, what am I getting with horses here? I think it's really important to be kind to animals, right? They have, um, they are emotional beings too. They feel, um, just because they don't speak human words doesn't mean that they don't have a whole universe inside them okay I'm not going there <laughs> yeah okay so now what for some of you what that saying is is that in the past um, it was like a past life soulmate connection coming to do a different version of it and then move either together again or uh, in new directions. 11th house. There could have been a lot of mirroring through this change. And it's almost looking like Siamese this card is really, I never noticed that. It's almost looking like Siamese twins. That could be like blame, right? Blaming each other when they are both have the same kind of qualities. I never noticed that, but that almost looks like a prosthetic thing. So, it, since we're in the Aquarius energy, it could be about, um, like, robotics, even. Technology. Looking into that field. See how one's, like, shadowy and one's light? That's that moon and the sun energy. Like, finding alignment together for some of you all right i feel like it's just repeating but um that's where i'm gonna leave it let's get one more uh let's do this let's get moonlight gratitude since that um was coming up oh, oh well, let's see what it says okay To trust is to let go and know that everything is working out just the way it needs to be. Yeah, this can be a scary concept, especially when the urge to control is strong. Yeah, that was all about the first in this reading too. The key is to release your attachment to the outcome and have faith that all the work you have been doing will pay off. Sometimes the answers are not what we would like to hear, but they only bring us closer to where we need to be, right? Okay. Right. Let's get a... Um... <laughs> Self-care is take a nap. Okay. 
Taking a nap is a fabulous way to take care of your mind and body, allowing you to rest and rejuvenate before waking to tackle the rest of your day. Right? As your days seem to become ever busier, it's important to slow the pace occasionally. And a mind a mid afternoon snooze is a perfect way to do so. Taking a nap has been shown to lower tension, decreasing your chance of developing heart disease, as well as boosting afternoon productivity, increasing alertness, and improving mood. Just remember to set an alarm uh, so you don't snooze right through your through until dinner time okay so you can set your phone right okay so here we go and oh see that was coming up in the other reading self-compassion soothes the mind like a loving friend who's willing to listen and that was in the beginning of the first part okay and I leave you with that thank you